Hey guys, how's it going? Thank you so much for watching our Yay Star 2021 Tech Talk. I'm Jason. Today's video will introduce how to integrate the Hike Vision door phone with Yay Star P Series PBX. With this integration, we can realize intercoms and video calls with various endpoints, like indoor station, Linkus web client, and video IP phone. More importantly, Yay Star P Series PBX and Hike Vision door phone inner operation makes it possible to answer and open the door remotely using Linkus mobile and web client. So in this video, we will take real devices as an example and show you the configuration step by step. First of all, we use Yaystar P570, Hike Vision DS KH6320 indoor station, and DS KD8003 door station to realize the integration. For P Series PBX, we can also use P550, P560. And for the Hike Vision door phones, it is necessary to pick a model that supports SIP. We can confirm with our dealer to see which models are suitable for the integration. Now let's get started. The first thing to do is register the Hike Vision door phones to P Series PBX as an extension. To manage the door phones, we need to download the Hike Vision IVMS 4200 client and add the door phones. Please refer to the corresponding Hike Vision manual or the local dealer to see the exact process. Now we can move on to the registration. Firstly, let's create an extension on our PBX for the door station. Log into Web GUI of P Series PBX. In the extension setting page, click on Add. Here we can define the user information and registration name. Please remember to copy the registration password. When we're down, click Save and Apply. Now we have the extension created. We can register the indoor station to this extension. To do it, we need to go back to IVMS 4200. If the PBX and door phones are in the same local network, we can directly move to the registration. But suppose they're not in the same local network. In that case, we need to set DNS on the door phones to ensure access to PBX. In device management, find the indoor station, click on the remote configuration button, in the pop-up window, select network, and then go to advanced settings. We can set up a DNS server according to our network environment. Then go to SIP server configuration and click on enable. Then enter the PBX information. In server domain name and server port, put in the IP address of the PBX and the SIP service port. And in register username, put in the extension number and then put in the registration password from previous settings. Then, in the number and display username, we can also put in the extension number. Once finished, click on Save. We'll see the registration status display registered, which means that the registration is successful. Then, we can repeat the same process to register the door station to our PBX. To continue, we can establish an intercom between the indoor station and door station. We can find the door station in the device management of IVMS 4200 client. Click on remote configuration and find the intercom. In network settings, we can add call access pointing to the indoor station. Click on add and put in the extension number of indoor station. To ensure the audio calls and video calls between the door phones, we need to also set up codecs correctly. The audio codec we use is G7.11 ULAW, and the video codec is H.264. We should set up the right codecs on the IVMS 4200 and P Series PBX as well. We can directly go to the configuration page and in video and audio for door phones. We can set up the codec accordingly. And for the PBX, we can go to PBX settings and then go to SIP settings page. In Codecs, make sure that we have selected ULAW and H.264. Now we can activate Linkus for the indoor station so that when someone presses the door station call button, our Linkus and the indoor station will receive the call. So when we're not home, we can still know that someone's out there and talk to the visitor. 
To make it work, we can go to Extension Settings on PeakService PBX and find the Android extension, go to Linkus Client tab, and enable all Linkus terminals. So now, we can receive calls from the outdoor station directly on our Linkus mobile client and Linkus web client. And also, during a call, we can directly dial one pound key to open the door. The door is open. It works on all Linkus clients as well as IP phones registered to the indoor phone extension. And of course, to enable the remote intercom and door opening function under a public network environment, please subscribe Enterprise Plan on PeaceService PBX to get the remote access service. Alright guys, that was all for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about Yaystar PeaceService PBX system, visit yaystar.com. And don't forget to subscribe to Yaystar YouTube channel.